Before we start this interview, I'd just like to thank Celia for inviting us into her home and um, allowing us to ask a few questions about her future um, in TV. So my first question is, the pilot that you've been working for, what is the, the theme uh, behind the story? Well, basically, it's a reality drama TV series called Born in Devon, and I'm the star, Celia Britti. And because I'm from Devon, obviously, it's like the perfect thing for me to be in. And it, it's all about having fun, really. It's me and my friends just having fun and having a good time. You see these shows like The Only Way is Essex, but I find with Born in Devon it's a lot less fake, yeah. it's a lot more fun. It's um, very natural. So how did you get involved with the project? Um, was this something you had to audition for? Well basically, I was, um, me and Julie were downtown doing up my daily shop with Mummy's credit card, weren't we? I got spotted by this producer called David Walker and he was he was a really lovely guy. He said he really liked my image, he really liked the way I looked and the way I spoke and the way I present myself. Thought she'd be a perfect candidate for the show, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And he, he was really lovely, so I thought, why not? I might as well just go for it. It could be my big break. So have you had any previous acting experience? Well, I haven't had acting experience as such, but my mum has always pushed me to do the best I can and she's always wanted me to be a star, so um, working with a director, Harvey Lewis, he's just, he's, he's really brought me out of my does. shell. He, he really, just, like, character develops you, doesn't he? He does. Make sure that you have all the confidence. He, he's great. He is absolutely brilliant. Honestly, I cannot thank him enough. So how long will this pilot uh, be aired for? Um, well, the pilot itself is only 30 minutes, but obviously as a pilot it's just a test run, so if we get really good reviews from it, then it should turn into a real series, and I think it'll be about 40 minutes long, won't they? Yeah, Every absolutely. episode. But that's only if the pilot goes well, which, which it will. So which channel uh, will this be aired on? The air on Channel P4. I mean, there's such great shows on there, isn't there? There's oh, things there like Time Management by Charlotte Robbins. Oh. She just whips you into shape Honestly, and makes sure that you... If you have problems with organising, it's just the tips she gives, they're just so, they're so inspiring. Yeah. She's, she's a There's also organized. Comedy Acting by Stephanie Steele. Oh, she's just she's the best facial expression. Facial expressions. Like sometimes I look in the mirror and try and do them myself. <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> um, Jeremy Holloway, he presents life modelling. That's oh, he's absolutely brilliant. Just gets the shadings perfect, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, it? every lump and bump. <laughs> okay, the sex education with Sandy Ackerman. She oh, tells yeah. that how it is. She um, explains all about I don't like that one so much. <laughs> I don't like talking about I do sex. think it's good for the kids though to know what's going on and what's with your body. Yeah, yeah, of course. They need to be educated. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Makeup tips by Alice Ward. Oh Alice. She's just she's brilliant, honestly. The makeup tips she gives, I use them all the time. It's just the eyeliner. And last but not least is Enthusiastic Minds by Vicky Nudge. Oh, honestly, if you're ever feeling down and you feel like you can't do anything, you've lost your motivation. Push. She's, oh, she's just amazing. She is. And obviously Born in Devon's on this channel, which is going to be really great. And hopefully the pilot will go really well. Fingers crossed, Julie. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, in regards to the pilot, when do you think it's due for release? Well, it's going to be a Christmas special, so it'll be December this year, 2012. Should the pilot be successful and commissioned, uh, when do you think our viewers would be able to actually see the new series? Well, hopefully, if, it's, um, if it goes really well. It should be shown next summer, I think, about June, June July 2013. Yeah. Excellent. So our viewers need to look out for that time. Definitely. Definitely. Channel P4. Channel P4, the world's hottest celebs. So what have you been involved with uh, since the pilot uh, was started? Um, well, I've been involved in lots of things, haven't I, Julie? I think the main thing is the Torbay Buskin Festival. Yeah. 
Vicky Nash, who um, presents Enthusiastic, Enthusiastic Minds. Minds on Channel P4, she actually she's running a busking festival in Torquay and painting. It's a charity, so Vicky's running this charity event. And what they do is they get the homeless people, the unfortunate, and um, they give them the chance to really bring themselves out. Like they, they're getting instruments and all sorts donated to them so that they get the chance to perform in front of people and raise money for themselves just to give them a confidence boost and help them through life. And basically for the auditions I've been asked to uh, to judge. So as a celebrity as judge. As a celebrity. I'm here with Vicky Naj who's going to be running Torbay Busking Festival which is actually going to be run in Torbay and she has kindly asked me to come along and help out to give my support and my help and I'm just going to ask her a few details about the festival really. So Vicky, how did you come about doing the festival? How did you get the idea to start running it? Well I used to live in Los Angeles and I yeah. was a busker on the street so I'd make balloon animals for people walking by and they would put donations in my hat on the floor. And then when I came back to Torbay, I decided I wanted to run events and that sort of thing. Yeah. So I decided to incorporate busking with an event and became um, and it became the Torbay Busking Festival. Oh, that's brilliant. Such a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> it really is. So um, you asked me to help. Um, is there any reason why it was me in particular or... Well, I actually saw some things in the press about your new TV show, I think it's called Born in Devon? Yeah, Born in Devon. Well, I thought it would be a really good way to help me publicise my event and maybe give you um, some more publicity for your TV show. Yeah, that's great. It's just absolutely brilliant. I'm always happy <laughs> to help, so I'm just so grateful. Thank you so much for inviting me along. Okay. <laughs> it's just a chance for me to show my true colours. So, how am I actually going to be helping out at the festival? Like, what, what will my roles be? Well, you're going to be on the audition panel as a judge. Okay. So, you're going to be part of the audition process um, for the festival. So, yeah. we're running the auditions purely to see if the act that um, is performing is suitable for the audience that we have. Yeah. And you'll be a judge. Alongside um, you will be Matthew Dart and he's from the Torbay Town Centre's company. Oh brilliant. So um, you'll be sitting there giving marks out of ten for the performers about how they perform, if their act's original and that kind of thing. Oh that's great. So, well that's sort of be like X Factor. Um, the auditions won't really be like X Factor as such. Um, okay. you'll, you won't be able to give feedback to the performers like they do on X Factor. You're just going to be watching and just making sure that the act is appropriate. Okay, so will there be any point during the auditions where I can talk to the acts themselves and give my support and give some inspiration soon as I'm now an actress? Um, not really. You're not going to have a chance to give feedback after each performer has um, been on stage. Um, we okay. want everyone to feel that you know their act is brilliant and we don't really want any negative feedback from anybody. So. Oh, it wouldn't be negative in any way at all. I'm not that sort of person. <laughs> no, we're, we're not going to have the judges talking to the performers afterwards. Okay. It's just, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I think it's a, <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. Thank you. And I think you'll get really far with it because I've never heard of a busking festival before. So I just think it's amazing. Well done you. Thank you. So thank you Vicky. Thank you. Judges on our panel, we have Matthew Dark from the Town Centre's company and our lovely celebrity Celia Britty who will be in our new TV show called Devon, it's called Born in Devon and that will be airing next year so have a look out for Celia next year and if you'd like to, you're welcome to come onto the stage to get an autograph <laughs> could be worth millions Thank you. 
in a fundraiser there's this really lovely lady called Natasha Brown and she runs a drama club for young teenagers and basically what they're doing is they're running a fundraiser so that they can raise money for a performance that they're doing and I've been asked to come along and talk to the drama group and give them some inspiration because of course I'm now an actress and they just want me to talk to them and encourage them to really live their dream Club where Natasha Brown is holding her fundraiser and as you can hear by all the noise there's lots of people doing lots of fun activities and selling cakes and doing all sorts to raise money for the drama group but unfortunately Julie can't be here because she's been called away on Taylor Brown, I'm just going to interview her quickly about her drama club. So Taylor, I've got a few questions for you. Okay. I've heard you attend take Centre Stage Drama yeah. Club. How, how did you come across this club? Well, a couple of my friends like attended it but when it was quite quiet, so um, they like said like they needed new members, so I went along and then I've just really enjoyed it since, so carried oh, on. Amazing. So um, you, you're into drama then, you like doing drama? Ever from a young... Yeah, like a really young age. I've really been into it. I love acting and singing and dancing, so yeah. Oh, that's amazing. You can do all three. Mm -hmm. Talented girl. Um, do you think you will ever do this as a future career? When I'm older, I'd love to attend a drama school and then be on West End. That's like yeah. what I really want to do. Oh, that'd be such a good job. Have you ever thought about maybe being in a TV show, like, like I am now, born in Devon? Have you ever thought about well, that? Um, I've thought about it, but... Um, I prefer to be on West End to start with, but if I get the offer, I would never say no. It's like amazing. It is amazing. It's so much fun. So, uh, have you ever seen any West End shows or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, I've seen Cats, Billy Elliot, Wicked, um, some more, but yeah. Awesome. That's really cool. Have you ever done any yourself? Oh, I was Maybe. with school. We went up to the West End and did Billy Elliot, and that was amazing. Such a good experience. Yeah, that sounds like an amazing experience. It really was. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what's your favourite out of these West End shows that you've seen? Um, my favourite Chicago. I've seen it three times now. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I love it. I haven't actually seen Chicago personally, but I've heard it's really good. So, um,. Thank you for answering my questions. So I, I'd just like to say that if if your drama club any ever need any help or anything like that, I'm I'm happy to come in and do some workshops with you and to show you, just to bring you out and show you my life experiences as well. Thank you. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much, Taylor. Thanks. As you've just seen, I just did a interview with Taylor Brown. Now this is Stephanie Steele, she also attends Tate Centre Stage Drama Club. So um, I'm just going to ask you a few questions, just like I've asked Taylor. So how did you come across the club? Um, well Taylor's my friend and uh, Natasha is her older sister, so... Um, this is Natasha that runs the club, <laughs> yeah. And um, she was like, my sister's starting this drama club, and I was like, yes, we've got to do it, definitely. And... It, just from day one, I've loved it. Really enjoy it so much. That's amazing. So 
you've always been into drama or is this just a new thing? I've always been into drama. Like, my mum's always catching me singing in the shower. It's embarrassing though when she comes in and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but my confidence Aww. has gone up a lot now because of the drama club and most of them are really expensive but Tasha's isn't so I can go to it all, like, every week. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> it sounds like a very good club. So do you think you will do drama as a future career? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. That's what I want to do. I'll be up there with. I just who's there? I don't know. Everyone's famous. <laughs> <laughs> with me? Yeah, yeah definitely yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you ever thought about maybe going into television or filmmaking or anything like um, that? I, I, I'd do anything. I'd, I just want to get out there and do as much as I can. Oh, really that's exciting. amazing. You sound really motivated. Yeah, I am. I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> so have you um, seen any West End shows or anything like that? Um, yeah, I saw Wicked. Did it you? was Wicked. It was so good. Oh, Wicked. Oh, I was just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then they threw the confetti out and I was catching it because we was only three rows from the front. And oh, wow. It was so good. And that I've sounds amazing. The confetti in my little memorabilia box. <laughs> a few. <laughs> oh. So was that your favourite West End show or do you have another favourite? Um, yeah, just that was my favourite. I cried as well. It was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen things about it on the TV and I do really want to see it. It does you look so magical. Should. We should go. We That'd should. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say thank you for answering my questions. And like I said to Taylor, if... um. If the drama group needs any inspiration or any tips given, I'm happy to come in and give a workshop and just share my life experiences with you. Yeah, that would be so good. So thank, thank you. you. That's okay. So thank you very much. This is Stephanie Steele. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So did Julie. Um, how do you find working with Celia? Well, it's definitely different. <laughs> um, I'm an interesting person. I mean, she can have her straps. I'm not going out right now. I'm not. Why not? I'm not going to Bristol. I'm Bristol not, I'm not doing it. I'm you not. have to. You can't not go to Bristol. But I need those shoes. I need them. Well, we'll go to the one in Newton Abbott before we go to Bristol. Because we've got to go that way anyway. I'm not doing it without the shoes. Well, we'll have a look. Julie, you better go and find me those shoes. I'll, I'll look online and they might be able to deliver them to us ASAP. It'd be fine. And everything planned out. It's really nice. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. You look great with a matter of what. Those are cute though. Oh, no, no. I don't like them. I love it. What's so, what's so special about these shoes? They were just beautiful. They were. They were absolutely beautiful. They were I got nice, an outfit but... to go with them, but they didn't have my size at the time. And I was thinking they'd have them now, but they don't. I'm a grown lady. I don't have straps. <laughs> Julie, you do this every time to me. She's just trying to embarrass me, you know? She's just jealous. It's another joy to work with, then. Oh, I'm... that's a bit rude. I wouldn't say that. I've known I Celia my whole I've known Celia my whole question. life and she's Can we not she's a that? wonderful person. The more you do for no. charity, you do lots for charity, don't you? Yeah. And you, you help out Yeah, I do loads for charity. Yeah. I mean, seeing as I've come so far on my own and really pushed myself, I think the best thing for me to do is to help other people do the same. People that aren't as strong and motivated as I am. And then hopefully one day they can live their dream just like I'm doing now. So how are you coping with all this attention then, Celia? Well, personally, I'm, I'm not the kind of girl that likes that much attention. <laughs> yes, you are. Don't lie. You do like the attention. I <laughs> just... 
charming. <laughs> My missus is better than you. Okay, I like a She's very bit good with people. But... She's very good at giving autographs and signing and yeah. having photos with people. So she's very good with people. But well, it's it's more the it's not the fact that I love the attention. It's more the fact that I like to give people a chance. You know, if people want a hug or they want an autograph or, or they want the chance to talk to me, then I can't let them down. I can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> to say on behalf of our um, viewers, thank you very much indeed for this interview. So is there anything you'd like to say to the viewers as a final uh, comment? Um, I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching and um, if you can watch the pilot, it'll be the Christmas special on Channel P4, it would just be great. Just give us good reviews and you can watch the rest of the, um, of the series in the summer. And we really need your support so that it can go on. And you can find out lots about me and my friends. And well, I'd like to say thank you very much for coming today. It's very kind of you to visit us in yeah. Celia's kitchen. It's our pleasure and thank you very much. Thank you so much. Action. <laughs> <laughs> It's like right up here, <laughs> and it's like just on this one a little bit. No, that's it. It's very free, like. <laughs> right there. Yeah, that was definitely put on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the outtakes. Outtakes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, let's go and take. <laughs> you got lipstick, that's fine. <laughs> Every time. You it's on your teeth now. You on your fang teeth. You might take you to get out of the way. Don't try it off.
<laughs> no, I'm running this. <laughs> okay, good, yeah. Okay, gonna know about it. So there's gonna have they're gonna have a lot big chance to um Action. I'm here with Vicky Naj, who runs Tall Bay Busking Fest sorry. <coughs> <laughs> they got I swallowed a bit <coughs> of lipstick. Camera. Oh, I need to pick my nose. Is it? Action. I'm here with Vicky Naj, who's going to be running Tall Bay Busking Festival, which is going to be running Tall Bay. <laughs> Oh my god, why did I just <laughs> say that? <laughs> I think the best thing for me to do is to help other people do the same. I mean, I've lost it again. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. This is Stephanie Steele. Thank you for listening. <laughs>